Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Power Review Time and Micro Toys. Today we're doing a review on four of the Street Fighter Final Battle Challenge Challenger. So we got M Bison, or a Yak Box, Ryu, Dao Sim, and Ken. So all of them come with a backdrop of their scene from so M Bison, Ryu, or Ryu, whatever. Dao Sim and Ken. So let's just start into the review and let's start off with the two who are technically like the same and bring my trust standing is Ryu and Ken. So there's Ryu. I'll show his accessories in a minute once I get them all up. And Ken. So accessories they get both is both chainful heads, chainful hands. And they both come with a fireball effect. So painting and sculpting on both, what can I say, is amazing. I'm, I'm all in on this line. I'm literally looking forward to the other ones. I saw the San Diego Comic Con videos of showing them. I am all in on them. I'm definitely all in getting all of them when they all come out in release date. So, okay, stop. So posability. Head is on a ball joint. And wiggly waggy all the way around, swivel all like that. Arms can move out, rotate all the way around, biceps swivel, a double bend at the knee very tight, swivel at the wrist for changeable hands. So, yeah. Torso crunch, no swivel at the waist. There is if you move a lot, kick up that far and back that far at whack. My glasses just come off, that's not nice. We so want the here, here, double bend at the knee and a toe up and down. So changing off the head, so it's literally just popping off the ball joint, putting on reuse spare head like that, and you can have him ready to fight like so. If you have one of the sceneries. Let's just say Ken's. You can have them like that. Ready to fight. Well, if he stands up. Like so. So that's Ryu. Ken. Same articulation. Head is on a ball joint. Can wiggly waggly. He's got a soft material hair. Raised, uh, torso swivel. Arm, same rotation. Rotation, hands there, swiggly waggly, can hate hands oh, off because they're on a peg. So, very tight peg. So, let's put both his hands on. So, I just put Ryu's hands on, it's not the same. Do that and that. Oh, there we go. Waist swivel kicks up that far and that far back. Waist swivel there. Double jointed knee. Foot articulation and yeah. So we can you get his hands literally pull his hands in like so. Try and get them as posable as you can because I know it's very difficult to do it. So got to push it. Like so, line him up, perfect. But his leg's not working. Put his fireball in the hand way, as high as you can get it. Push your hands down, and yeah, he looks like he's firing a fireball. So on to the next review, what would be Dao Sim? Looking at Dao Sim, he's just the same as them. He's got so many different accessories. So first accessory he comes with is a peg to hold his legs, his stretchy arms, limbs, what I'm going to show literally all of them. He's got two changeable hands and two stretchy legs, two stretchy arms. They're a bendy wire I think they are. So they can go everywhere and bendy. Changing them up is not as simple, it's just taking off the peg here and his legs or his in her arm. So, so if we just 
fall off the arm. Well, we won't do that now. But like, if you pose it, like you put the leg in, like that when he's stretched up. So articulation on down sim is, if you get his skulls round, head is on a ball joint, up and down, wiggly waggly, arms rotate, muscles wiggle, double jointed elbow, hands look like the Carly chop, if you remember that from wrestling, ball joint at the waist, up and down, kicks up that far, kicks out that far, a glorious spread, or a beautiful spread, up, down, swivel there, double jointed knee, and an up and down. Like I said, he does chain, take his limbs off, but in this video I'm trying to make it as quick as I can, so put him there for a minute. And last but not least, the big, oh, there's his background, the elephant. His M. Bison background. So the last figure is M. Bison. And I mean, I got this first, and just because he's evil, he just fucking he. Oh, excuse my language. This is not for kids. These are root. Um, for oh, I forgot the Dalsim spare head. There you go. So with Bison, you get two changeable hands, two two shoulder points if you don't want the cape on, a changeable head. And a effect part, what looks like it's punch. But I swear in the game it's punch was green, but it could be wrong. So, and if you've got a stand red handy, you could get him. If I can get the stand to work for me. You can probably get him in the air looking like if the stand is strong enough. So, yeah, take the stand off for me. So, articulation is his head is on a ball joint, wiggly wagging. These are on a hinge under the arm, a butterfly joint for his arm, rotation at the muscle, double jointed elbow, no waist crunch and backward arcing so you could get him into a flying pose. Legs can only move slightly, a kind of okay spread, thigh swivel, no, there is a double jointed knee on the boot and wiggly waggly at the foot. So yeah, so size comparison. Here he is next to the TGPF frogs. Here he is next to He-Man. Here he is next to Rizzo the Rat. And here he is next to all, some of the other Street Fighter characters. So guys, if you like this review, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell if you please. It helps the channel out so much. I go, I buy these to do product reviews. I don't do this for kids. Like they, their joints are cool. I love the joints. They're fine. But I just wish some of them came with better stands so you could do much more of them. So that's the only nitpick I have. So guys, if you like this review, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, hit that. Uh, hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, comment if you can, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all on the next one. What you've all been waiting for, and I'll show you in a second. And it's the Necker God of War. Not Neck, but there'll be points of that joke in the review. I'll catch you on the next one.